Hi again. So your TDS meter, when it gives you that PPM reading at the top, that's not a real number. That number is actually the result of a calculation being run inside the meter at the time you dip it into the liquid. What your meter is actually doing at a base level is measuring the resistance of that water. Okay, so today what I want to do is a demonstration that's going to go a little bit deeper into two areas. It's going to show you a little bit more about how your meter works. It's also going to show you a little bit more about how water works. And that's a great idea when you're working with hydroponics. So let's get started. I need you to come in a little bit closer so I can show you this because it's science, but it seems like magic. Check this out. So our demonstration is really straightforward. The salt represents the nutrient salts that you would add to water to make your nutrient solution. The multimeter represents your TDS meter, and the probes you can see here are also found on your TDS meter. If you look very carefully on the end of it, you'll see two metal probes. Uh, we're going to fill this with some distilled water, uh, which can represent the reverse osmosis water or whatever your source water might be. If you remember earlier, I mentioned how water is inherently non-conductive. Here you're going to see that that's true. As I fill this, the meter is sending out an electrical signal but as you can see, the meter's numbers are not changing. That's because there's nothing for the meter to see. That's why it displays OL, which means open line. So now when we add salt to the water, the numbers on the meter are gonna go crazy because as we add the salt and the salt dissolves into the water, the water becomes very conductive very quickly and then the numbers start going wild. That's how your TDS meter works as well. So your nutrient solution is made of what are called nutritional salts, which are highly electrically conductive, just like table salt. That's why table salt works so well for our demonstration. Check this out. I'm just gonna put a little bit in my hand. That's all it's gonna take. Watch this, I'm just gonna add it to the water. Now keep a careful eye on the numbers here on the meter. Boom, they start to go wild. Your TDS meter works exactly the same way. It first takes a reading of the water's resistance, known as electrical conductivity, and then using a formula inside of itself, it turns that number into a parts per million number, PPM, which most people agree is just easier to use. And that's how your TDS meter works.